Hey guys. So, I just got done with my ADHD class. Um, this is week six. So, I've got seven through twelve still to go. Um, and there's those two gals that I'm trying to help with budgeting. And I think they're kind of at a point now where they're able to do a lot of the stuff on their own. Like, the big hard part is just getting things started. Um, sorting out where to start, because there's like, write down all the stuff. Tell your money where to go. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, how about if we figure out where your money's going? Because you can't tell your money where to go if you, like, are forgetting about bills or people that you owe money to or whatever. Anyway. So, in exchange, what they're helping me with is to get out of my house and go be social and do things. Um, and so, this month there's going to be a change in my budget. I think I'm going to, I'm going to snooze. My alarm is going off to take my meds. Um, I'm going to put a line in my budget for um, adventures. Going on adventures. Socializing in general. Um, and then meds. No, oh, you guys can't even see it. Um... Because I think how I've got my money budgeted right now, it's budgeted down, but there's not a lot of money for doing adventures. Yeah, I've got goals of like paying off debt and things like that. And that is important to me, but like, what is the cost of not, I don't know, I feel like I don't have friend friends like there's people that I know and acquaintances and people that you meet up with at parties but for the most part like I don't go places and I don't go do things because like it's not in the fuel budget or it's not in the this other budget or it's not in the other 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 budget or whatever so um yeah so I'm going to start budgeting for going on adventures. And I think that maybe 50 bucks a month won't break my budget. And then what I don't use, I can keep in an envelope. And then it'll just kind of build up over time. Anyway... So, one of the first adventures I want to go on... First, we are going to go on an adventure to go check out calligraphy pens and fountain pens and things like that. It'll be kind of fun. It'll be... Uh, one gal in the class has been doing pens for a while. And another gal and I are interested in getting pens or looking at pens or something... I don't have money budgeted to buy pens, but I still think it would be fun to go look at pens and kind of see what what things are so that I could potentially make a budget for such a thing. Anyway. Um, and then after that, a trip to the beach. Because I haven't been to Sea Ocean in years. It's been years since I've just driven to the beach and it's like two hours from me basically two hours and I will be at a place where salt water is crashing on sand and uh, I think I just kind of I need to make that a priority and at 50 bucks that could pay for half the fuel to get down there you know so I think that would be that would be good and then that will be good for my ADHD brain that I I don't do things because I don't know how much they're going to cost. I don't 
do things because I don't know how long it's going to take. I like there's a lot of paralysis that comes with not knowing what to expect and uh I'll be fine. I mean, it's just fine to go on an adventure, but um it would be good to know know how much it would cost and pick it that way. But anyway, so that's going to be my, my fun adventure. Um, update on the fella because Susan Lore was asking about him. So we were supposed to hang out on Saturday. Today is Tuesday the 3rd, no, the 12th. And, uh, we were supposed to hang out on Saturday the 10th. And, no, 9th. And we were supposed to hang out at, like, 5. And at 4.30, he texted me and said that he was running late. And I said, that's fine. I'm food shopping. I'll be home about 6. And he goes, it'll probably be closer to 8. And then at 9.45, I text message him and said, hey, <laughs> you turn into a popsicle because it's basically right at freezing dismiss took my meds um right at freezing here in Oregon so I was joking because he installs billboard signs turn into a popsicle he goes basically it's really cold in Port Angeles and I was like Port Angeles that's not even part of like Portland metro area like where is this and I looked it up and it was like four and a half hours to Portland like from Portland <laughs> what yeah so he told me that he would be at my place at eight and it was not quite five and it was, there was no way that he would be at my place by eight zero zero chance so at at 4 30 he could have told me that hey I'll probably get done with work at 8 and then it'll be like a 5-ish hour drive plus or minus food and everything would have been fine. Like I would not have been mad. I'd have been like, oh, that sucks. It's how the cookie crumbles, whatever. But at 9.45 he said, Port Angeles. I was like, okay, well, whatever. So then at 11.30, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm expecting him to pull in, like, any minute. And I, I text him and said, like, dude, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. You said that you would be here at 8, and now it's, like, well past 8. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Let's reschedule. And he said, that sounds like a good idea because I'm still two hours away from Portland. At 11.30 at night when we were supposed to meet at 5. So, and then at 8, like, even from 8 o'clock. I don't know. So, um, just the fact that in the beginning he was not forthcoming with enough information meant to me that he didn't value my time. And it's not the first time that he's said and done things that prove to me that I'm, I'm not of value as a human to him. So, um, it's no, no skin off my nose. I wasn't really interested in being in a relationship anyway. So, <clears throat> it's all good. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm sitting in a parking lot, ready to go home. It's cold. So, uh, the update on Fella is that Fella is no longer. <laughs> it is an odd that I only gave him one chance. Like, he, he does things like insults entire demographics with zero regard to the fact that the demographic that he's insulting is me. Like, I am a liberal. I am not quite a Democrat. I am Navy veteran. I am female. Like, all of these times that he's gone ranting and raving on these 
things against demographics and I'm part of the demographic that he's against and I don't know I don't think that he thinks very well anyway so I'm gonna go good riddance to rubbish took himself out yeah all right bye guys